So guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Jay and I'm in Musanza district. This is north of Rwanda and I want to get my accommodation. I've just arrived right now and I feel like it's too hot. It's too hot. I don't know why it's hotter than Kigali. In some way Kigali was cool. Was cool and raining a lot but then here is a bit different so I'm supposed to walk this road get myself an accommodation anywhere see I'm a risky traveler I've not made like lots of research about this place but I kind of know the relative prices of hotels around here so what I'm my, what I'm going to do I've seen one of the things I'm no blazer there's a bar and restaurants and accommodation up there which is really good a bar Here we are, it's north of Rwanda. It's a country with a sad history. We've not discussed about that yet. Apparently, the people you see here, they might be having like smiley faces. They might be smiling, but deep down, a very sad history just goes on. So, so I feel like it's something very, very important to me because I love history and I feel like it's something that I would really love to discuss. And so, sorry, I have to talk to you through the journey of finding peace and reconciliation after a whole process of fighting. So here we go. That is Golgo Plaza. I'm sorry if I'm mispronouncing the name. And this is how Kigali, not all Kigali, Musanze looks like. It's cleaner than most of your, country, your cities in your countries. <laughs> but of course, Kigali will outsmart it. It's, but not the outsmarting of being clean. I'm just, I just mean like it's cleaner right so lots of bicycles i think it might be the main mode of transport here but they are still motorcycles here they are called moto taxis so i'm seeing virunga hotel over there the guy was i was supposed to meet apparently has not responded to me and so this this place stretches up to that location but i'm not going to go that way I rather first of all move towards this direction first. Get myself an accommodation. That is another accommodation I've seen. Virunga Hotel. So what I normally do whenever I come to a place which is a bit new, I first of all look around if I've not done lots of research. I'll do the research on the spot. Get to see the prices, get to see how the place looks like, the inside. Get to see the services which are provided and then see whether it suits my need. And of course the prices is very important, the services. One of the things I have to check is whether there is Wi-Fi. I'd rather stay in a place which is looking rubbish with Wi-Fi because I have to offload my memory and that is why like, I have to ask whether there is Wi-Fi. This is another road. And this is a very mountainous place, volcanoes. And people are wondering what I'm doing with the camera. And so, let me continue walking towards this direction. I'm in Musanze. And I feel like half, that is the end of this road from that direction. So I'll cross the road from here and get myself an accommodation. I'm sorry. And get myself an accommodation. Nah, no, just right. Thank you. Yeah, so I've seen a hotel, like three hotels so far. So when I come to making decisions, I'll go with the one which looks okay, like more modern in some way. But I have to make consideration the fact that with more modern infrastructure comes a higher price. So, and of course the services are good, so it depends on your budget and and what you uh, what you have, right? So. Mm -hmm. 
that's really good. So I'm walking in Sanze. So you can have a look. Can have a look. Oh, didn't know I'm a Muzungu. I've had something closer to that. So. <laughs> I'm a black guy, like very, very, very black. So this is what you expect to see in a typical. Kigali. From what I heard, is the big, second biggest city here after Kigali, and so. A city, a walk around the city would not be harmful. So, I had a very bad encounter yesterday. Really bad encounter, which we can talk later. But, nothing happened, really. But it's worth noting, like you, these are some of the things that you have to know. My friend has, yet not, has not yet called, so it seems like I'm by myself. Lots of infrastructure. This is a Virunga hotel. And this is another hotel, I think I'll come to see whether I can stay here. Just as thing. It looks like it's a, it's a bit modern and there's a, there's a Wi-Fi, I guess, which is really important. Just wanted to just show you just a cross-section of this place. Just to see whether it's something that you, you the, a place you'd like to visit. And so, the traffic is a bit relaxed, not lots of people moving at the hotel. I've, I've seen another one, which is zero, zero 001 motel, which I think I have to go and see. First of all, I love, I usually like to, first of all, see the, the, the way it's looking from the outside. Then judge the book from outside before I see the book from the, to the in, in the inside. So this is what I'm doing right now. It's called 01 Motel. Looks like a good one. And I have to come here. This looks like really beautiful. Then let me see whether I can get another one over there. And if I get it, then I think I can consider. I'm seeing free Wi-Fi on the very top, so I think I think it's nice. I think I'll, I'll have to come to this one, to this hotel. But then I have to first of all check and see whether there's another one. So on the very top, I'm seeing a church. And you know, my vlogs have not been able to show churches. I don't know why. There's another guest house over here. And I think. That's a place you should not come to, it's, I don't know, but it depends on your budget. First of all, we'll have to look towards the other one. So let me go and see what this building is all about and see whether it's interesting to know. Then after that, I go have some rest, some food, and then I can, I can get out of this city. I'm not going to film again here because like, I don't want to appear so like very common. But I'll take the left turn from there. Uh, I don't know where I'm heading to. Just showing you the city, how it looks like. I've just arrived from behind with my backpack. Then here we have Facebook Lounge. I don't know whether they have like accommodation. Facebook Lounge. So, looks like a church, but I've not been able to see the name. It's written in Kinyarwanda, so if you, if you don't speak Kinyarwanda, you are on your own. Then here we have another one, which is MPGH Uruguero Limited. It's a guest house too. It's Emirates Bar. There's such a bar in my home village. So I'll come and see that guest house to the coast. And whether they provide Wi-Fi as well. Looks like it's a good one from the outside. Then from the far stretch I'm seeing a huge hill. I won't, say, I won't call it a mountain, but there's kind of a volcano. And so I think my friend wanted me to, wanted me to explore those places. So I'm not sure how I'm going to get there. But that looks like it's eight. Um, towards this direction. Oh, there's a Facebook launch. Then up this road, 
I'm seeing Facebook model, so I don't know whether it belongs to Zuckerberg. I'm just joking. These comfortable rooms, uh, Mason, the passage, this bar and restaurant. Then they have their WhatsApp number over there. Then the room service, there is Wi Fi and CCTV, so it's a place that maybe you can come and see. So it's in NM2 Avenue. Okay, this is interesting. Then on this side we have no blazer guest house too. Not sure what services they provide because they have not given. They're just saying that they, that's a guest house and then giving out their WhatsApp numbers and stuff. So you can contact them, but then looks like you have to find that the, the services they provide by yourself. So this is a body care center. So guys if you are new here kindly subscribe because uh trying to put some more efforts to show you the streets how they look like this is msanze north of Uganda. sorry kampala <laughs> yeah so on the first stretch we still have like another guest house which is called romantic guest house so and it's closed, so I don't know how you're supposed to get in out there, get in there. Then, here we have Korokire Vocational Training Center Limited. Then from the very find, I'm seeing MPGH Uruguero Limited Guest House 1. That was two. There, this is one. Then Venus Villa Guest House. So these are typical Musanze and how it looks like. So, it looks like I have so many, so many guest houses to check and vary with the prices and stuff and the services they provide. So, what I'm going to do, it's been like 12 minutes of street shooting, just showing you how the street looks like. And so what I'm going to do, I'll stop this video and go to go find myself like in a competition because I'm getting really tired this backpack is a bit heavy because I'm carrying so many things get an accommodation for like a day and just see how it goes then we can talk from there from the farm seeing guest house I'm sportive this is so outside the city and so that's very interesting because I'm seeing I'm seeing like a first mosque here, so I don't know whether I'm supposed to go this way. So let me first of all guest, get to see this guest house because I'm, be, I'm seeing best home guest house and on this opposite side I'm seeing Venus Villa guest house. So I'll check their services and then the Wi-Fi if they have the internet and after that guys I'm going to talk to you later. So that's been a short walk around the city and I'm hoping that maybe you've liked. So if you're new here, can you subscribe and let's continue with this walk. So if I don't get this here, I'll, I'm going to go straight down and find whether I'll find another one. So let's meet later guys. Subscribe and share. Until next time, peace and love. Bye.